Hi guys, uh, my name is Abhimanyu Singh Rathod. I did my B.Tech from NIT Jaipur. The first four company which came in our college for campus placement was Kane India. Uh, the first round of Kane India was shortlisting on the basis of CGPA. The second round was the group discussion round. And the third round was personal interview round. I cleared first and second round. And here our third round went for me. So Abhimanyu, tell us why do you want to join Kane? Ma'am, as we all know, Kane is one of the biggest oil and gas production giant in the upstream sector. Since India is a major importer of oil and looking forward to reduce its dependency on other countries, I think Kane can play a major role in enhancing the crude oil production. And I would love to be a part of this process and at the same time serve my nation. So why only Kane? Why uh, no other organization in the oil and natural gas sector? Ma'am, Kane is the only private organization in the oil and gas exploration sector. So, in terms of career growth, I would want to start my journey with Kane. So, tell me amongst these three, thermodynamics, fluid dynamics and mass transfer, which is your favorite subject? So, all are my favorites, but among the three, I have a stronghold on fluid and mass transfer. Uh, can you tell me, everyone, um, a little bit about cavitation phenomena? And in which type of pumps is it observed? So, so basically when the suction pressure falls below the vapour pressure, the vapour begins to form and we see bubbles forming inside the pump cavity. This phenomena is known as cavitation and it is generally found in centrifugal cavi pumps, I think. You're not sure? It is found in centrifugal pumps. Have you read about refrigeration cycle? Yes, I have. Explain. So those would be compression, cooling, throttling and evaporation. Can you draw pressure versus enthalpy curve for this process? Can you write down the number of ideal trays in the counter current in a liquid gas absorption column? Say we have a highly viscous fluid, we have to pump it to a height of uh, 12 meters. How we will go about it? What kind of pump uh, to be used? So given that we know the density and the type of fluid, we can calculate the discharge pressure to adjust it to 12 meters. We also know the suction pressure and the suction temperature. So we know the type of fluid, the suction, the temperature, the discharge pressure. So we could procure the desired power rating pump. Generally, gear pumps are used to pump highly viscous fluids. Abhimanyu, do you have any location constraints? Because uh, being an upstream sector, most of our locations are in, in remote places. Uh, no, I have no location constraints. Okay. Do you have any other questions for us? Yes, sir. I do have a question. What specific role do I have to play in this organization? So for one year, you will be going through an orientation program that we've designed for young graduates. After which you might be posted either in the technical department or in the production department. Yeah. You, would you like to have? Yeah. So technical department, the way we look at it, I think you will be working in the plant monitoring and also suggesting any improvements thereof. Uh, in production, you could either be a panel or field engineer. Any further queries? No, sir. Thank you. So, Abhimanyu, I think we are done for today. We'll get back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Kane is an upstream oil and gas organization and uh, most of the application which we as a chemical engineer would face in the company would be related to subjects like uh, thermodynamics, fluid dynamics, mass transfer, PDC. So that's why a company like Kane would want you to have a fairly strong grasp on these subjects. Uh, now coming back to the interview, I was selected in the interview and uh, I joined Kane. I worked there for one year and it was a delightful experience to work with Kane. Uh, simultaneously I gave gate examination and uh, fortunately I got 105 rank in it. Uh, so for the sake of PSU I left Kane.